Okay, everybody. Can you hear me now? 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 Gosh darn it. Good night. Get me some looser jeans. DM for more info. Get me some looser jeans. I'm not wearing jeans today. I'm wearing I'm wearing psycho bunny jogging pants today. I'm not even wearing jeans. I don't know what you're talking about. Looser jeans. I don't have tight jeans. I'm a fat guy. But yeah, I'm wearing uh, I'm wearing jogging pants today. I got the psycho bunny stuff on today. Look, I got the I got the psycho bunny. I got the hat. I got the psycho bunny jacket. I got the psycho bunny. Oops, wrong way. I got the psycho bunny shirt. I got the psycho bunny jogging pants on. Going from and then, like uh, 60 to 35. Right. Yeah. I've got the you know uh, the Jordans on. So we're, we 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 audit in style. See, look, they're uh, they're gonna get married in there. But while we're waiting, we're gonna we're gonna just do a tour of the courthouse. Judge's office. I don't want to. I don't want to interrupt a judge right now, unless they want to talk about. <laughs> County sheriff. While we're waiting, while we're waiting, we'll go into the county sheriff. There's always some good stuff I want in the sheriff's office. Um, are you who I could do an open record act request with? Um, Hello, I need to do an open records act request. Could you help me with that? I no, ma'am, I just wanted to come and inspect them if I could. I, what I'm wanting to inspect are the last 20 use of force reports from the department. Okay. You would need to speak with Under Sheriff Martin, and he. Let me see if he's here. Could sure. Something like that. Oh man, you're here at the wrong time. Don't be mean to these people. I'm not being mean to these people. Wait for me to do it. All I asked for was 20 use of force reports. That's all I'm asking for. So I'm not being mean to anybody, I promise. Just asking for some documents. All right. So. I'm, sorry. I'm here to see Greg Martin. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go back there and talk to him. Are they nice, though? Are they nice around they, here? They can be. Some of them is. You know, sometimes you got to rough them up. You got to show them a little muscle. I mean, you, you, you look like you work out. I, I got to say. I used to. I tried to get a job with him. He told me no, so I'm up here. I mean, I think you could, like, take some people out. Yeah. I would not I would not pick a fight with you. you kick my butt. Well, you know, a lot of people think that I'm, I couldn't bust a break in a fruit, a fruit fight. I promise you, I couldn't. You know, I did a couple of fitness competitions. Oh, no, I, you, you seem fit. Years ago. I wish I could go back to it, but, man, I'm too busy doing everything else around here, trying to get some stuff together. So, I got you. I got you. Yeah. What you, 
I'm being nosy. I'm probably overstepping my bounds. Oh, you can ask. You can ask me anything you want to. Um, What's what, your name? Ron. Ron. Yes, ma'am. And you work for yourself? Or yes, ma'am. We're with the publishing company, and we investigate all kinds of things. And we're, so we're working on some stories, and there's been some reports related to use of force in Muskogee. So what I came over here to do was just get the last 20. So what we like to do is step one is you get the last 20 use of force reports. And that every time that the officers go hand on with somebody or, or, you know, use their taser, they're supposed to do a use of force report. And so if, what you do is you go get the last 20 use of force reports and then you get a, you get a kind of a picture of a trend of what's going on. And then you come back and ask for the body cams from those. So I just need the last 20, you know, Hey, are you already sheriff? Hey, Hey Greg, Ron Durbin. Nice to meet you. Um, I just need a copy of the last 20 use of force reports for the department. I don't know him. I know you don't. Okay. Let, let's just do this. Let's do an open records request. To, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm here to do. Yeah, let's yeah. You, you bring your own forms. You get online. We don't provide forms for open No, I, I'm, I, yeah, but you have the right to publicly inspect these records. So I came up here during regular business hours to publicly Can I inspect. Do that right now, if you give us the time and put that in paperwork. We'll can't somebody just, can you just write it down since we're here? So you can't you can't take my request. So you're not going to let me inspect these records or take my request. So let me ask you this question: Pursuant to Title 21, um, there's a provision that says a citizen has the right to arrest somebody for the commission of a misdemeanor. And what it says is that I actually have to physically grab a hold of somebody and then take them to the magistrate. But we're in the courthouse right now. And pursuant to Title 51, the Oklahoma Open Records Act, it's a misdemeanor to not provide records during regular business hours to the public who want to come up here and inspect them. So since it's a misdemeanor that you're telling me that you can't give me these records, and I'd like to place you under citizen's arrest, well, my question is, do I need to physically grab you and carry you to one of these judges, or can we just walk over to one of these judges? Congratulations. I'm tribal anyway, so it wouldn't work. Well, can we walk over to one of these judges? Well, can I, can I deal with her? Your tribe? What tribe are you a part of? Okay, so when I deal with the feds on this violation of the Misdemeanor Act, it'd be you. Okay. So why won't you provide open records? Why can't I just come and get the records? If you want to get an open record request, we want to Yeah, you don't have a form. You don't have a way to do it. Yeah, a reasonable amount of time is the amount of time it takes to produce them. Use of force reports are mandated by Oklahoma law, correct? For every use of force. Why is it over? Why can't we have a question about this? Well, because I've got an appointment here. And my major's got another appointment, so... So you can't give government records because you're too busy? That's right. Okay. That, so does that make a lot of sense to you? Does that feel good to you? When, when I sue you, you're going to feel good about that? That's, that's fine. There you go. That's who I am. Go hey, guys. Here. Go right there. Let, let, let them know that you, uh, what, what you think about this. There's only 265 people watching me right now. It's pretty low right now, actually. Well, go ahead and uh, email me. Y'all let him know we'll what y'all want. Y'all oh, ask for every record y'all could possibly think you want from Mr. Greg Martin here, who doesn't want to give government records to people. So we'll just, uh, so this, the right process is to show up in person. Have you read Title 51 in the Oklahoma Open Records Act? I have read some, but that's Okay, but as an know. officer of the law who's, who's sworn to uphold it, maybe you want to go between the time you and I speak again, you want to go read Title 51, the Oklahoma Open Records Act? It's under, the the it's under officers of the state. It's under officers of the state. It's under officers of the state. You're an officer of the state. So since you're an officer of the state, why don't you go read the laws that you're charged with upholding and stop breaking them? Because you're committing a crime right now by refusing this stuff. Well, sir, I'd have a better day if you just give me some records. That's that's really all I'd have a better day with if you just give me some records. I don't understand. I don't understand why we can't do that, ma'am. Who's the re open records clerk? Is he the open records clerk? Well, no, the DA is a whole different office. This is the sheriff's office, and so I'd like some stuff from this division. Who normally handles that? Is that, is that the guy that normally handles them? Or who normally handles those requests? I'm not one that typically handles those. Yeah, no, I got that. She got the other lady, and then she got him. So I'm just trying to figure out, because he's wrong on how I can request records, and so I just want to know who the person is that I can ask for these records, and somebody could just literally email me the darn things. If they would just take my information, I would agree to email it to me. But y'all don't have a form. You don't have a way to do it. And so if somebody just wants to email me this stuff, I'd be happy. I don't need it right this second. Yes, y'all please hit that like button, like and subscribe.
subscribe and share and all that other good stuff. Muskogee like in Oklahoma, you know, Oki from Muskogee, y'all ever heard the song Oki from Muskogee? Is somebody coming out or? Okay, thank you. Well, I'm going to, while you try to find somebody, I'm going to go talk to the DA's office, but I'll be back over here. And again, if you can just find me somebody that'll email me these dadgum records, I'll be happy to give you guys my email address and we can be done with this request. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, they, they don't like me over there. Oh, no. They don't like me over there. Where? At the, at the hey. sheriff's office. The undersheriff was very pissed off at me. Just so you know, of course. Okay, well, I'm going to come over here first. I got to talk to them. They told me to come over here. So I'm going to talk to them first. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Oh, well, I was doing better before the sheriff over there refused to, this guy, under sheriff. I went over there and asked for the last 20 use of force reports for the department, okay. which is not something hard for them, right? They have to do a use of force report every time they use force on somebody. And I just wanted a copy of the last 20. And, and this under sheriff there is refusing to give them to me. No, but those are. Um, are you sure? I'm positive. Yes, ma'am. Well, there's not really much. Well, I understand that, but here's, here's the thing. It's, it's a crime oh, to not produce it. So I came over here to the district attorney's office. I don't know who else to, he, the sheriff. Really sure, I'm yes, ma'am. I just was going to get the district attorney because I don't have anything. That would be fantastic. Okay. That's, they, come, they told me to come talk to him. Shit about you now? Yeah, go ahead. Over at the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The under sheriff was very unhappy with me. Man, I heard this guy was coming in here asking you for things you just can't have. I know. I was. <laughs> he made, he walked into the judge's chambers upstairs? Oh, I'll catch him upstairs then. I know, but I'll wait for him outside. But I'll go ahead and, I'll go ahead and leave my name for you. Can I have that card back of that guy? I got to know who I'm going to sue. Yeah, and, and so here's the thing. He just got, so your guy just got elected uh, after being appointed. And again, we're just, we just want to work with people to get documents and things. My name is Ron. Thank you. Uh, my cell phone number. Uh, Are you live? I'm yeah. live. Here, I can, you How do you mute, mute it? it? How do you mute the live? You go like. So, yes, well, there's two things. Um, one is we were asking for the last 20 use of force reports from the sheriff's department, and they're refusing to provide us those. They have no forms to do an open record act request. You can't do it in person. Title 51 says otherwise and makes it a misdemeanor for them to do what they're doing. So I'd like to talk to them about that. And then secondarily, I haven't had a chance to been up to the court clerk's office yet, but... They, well, they're getting a wedding and stuff, and so we didn't want to interrupt them. So we're going to go up there. Apparently, they're done, and they're getting married now. We're going to, I think, did we film the wedding? Uh, well, they, no? uh, they, they decided they were going to a different room where we Oh, okay, cool. They didn't um, want to. Uh, yeah, well, they had asked us to. But anyway, um, the, uh, the other issue is, is that a lot, in a lot of the felony filings that are being filed, they're not redacting people's names, date of birth, social security numbers in other counties. I'm not sure if that's a thing here yet because I haven't been up there, um, but I, I do want to speak about that in case that's an issue. So, like, for example, how I found out about it is I got charged with a misdemeanor in Tulsa, and I went over there to get a copy of the file. So Tulsa, I will tell you, Tulsa and Muskogee's case is 
No, I, yes, ma'am, I, I completely understand that. All, all 77 counties of Oklahoma are different, but I've now been to about 25 counties and asked for copies of the filings of cases, and I've gone through there and had and been able to get everybody's names, date of birth, and all the counties I've gone to. I don't know if that's a situation here, but since we're putting things like I'd like to talk about in case that's a problem, that'd be the other thing I'd want to talk about. So those are the two issues. Um, they can get a hold of me, and uh, again, you know, amicable. We just want to, you know, talk about this stuff and figure it out. And I just want the last 20 use of force reports because somebody told me there's been an issue over here with the sheriff's department. So I'm looking into it. No, no, I understand. Just give me an appointment. I'm going to go out there and deal with the other stuff. We can talk it through. Look, it might take a long time to come to resolution on this stuff, but the fact is, is if we're making progress towards good things for the citizens, it's all that really matters, right? So thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. You too. All right, let's go look at the court clerk's office. Yeah, the undersheriff did not appreciate the request for use of force reports. to review the last felony cases that have been filed. Last five? No, I'm just going to start with the first five, the like, last five. Uh, the last five? Yes, ma'am. Just pick the last five files, that felony filings with informations in them, and that's what I need. Okay, I need to pay on that. Maurice Ford. Oh, no, I won't be back here. Oh, okay. Maurice Ford. That boy needs last name. Oh, sorry. Oh, didn't sorry. realize there was a door there. Well, I didn't. Pay attention, you stand in there. No, I'm all, I'm all tunnel visioned on my. <laughs> <laughs> Ourselves. That's cool. That's like the cul de selfie stick from crap. Yeah, it does all kinds of fun stuff. This one does too. You know, like, look, I can even touch. Well, I don't have that app part of it on. But if I had the other app one, I could touch him, and like no matter where I moved it, it would track him and stuff. Really? These things are yeah, these I, things I are cool. Yeah. <laughs> He's got the Gandalf stick. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, kids. It's nice, yeah. It is. Long. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Huh? <laughs> I love that. I love that. Thank you, man. That was the best. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Everybody's been so awesome except for the under sheriff. The under sheriff was not happy with me. For what? Just going? Uh, for asking for the last 20 use of force reports. Uh, and uh, then I told him, I was like, do I need to actually grab you since we're here in the courthouse to take you to the judge? Or can we just go to the judge for the citizen's arrest? And he told me he wasn't going to entertain that either. So, yeah. I, I keep trying to arrest people under the citizen's, uh, under the citizen's right to arrest statute. But I, I'm not really sure. One day we're going to figure out how to do it. Um, we do have, uh, while we're here, look, we have uh, Grande Johnson. Hey, everybody. We have uh, Gandalf and his large stick. She wouldn't want it any shorter. She didn't want it any shorter. That lady didn't. Um, Earl, Earl is in Oklahoma. Everybody's always worried about Earl. Earl is in Oklahoma City getting ready for Chronic Palooza, setting up the booth for Chronic Palooza this weekend, where we're going to be. People like Earl Morgan. Somebody says the last five cases of obstructing a police officer. Yeah, we're going to look at those, but I want the 20 f use of forces. Resisting arrest is a good one, too. Or request cases where resisting arrest is the only charge. Yes. Oh, yeah, which should be a secondary offense. You know you're going to find some trouble oh, we'll there. Right with you guys. Thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. You send me some help, ma'am? Yeah, I'm going to grab another battery. Oh. Are you? Yeah, I've been at Horton this whole time. Okay, well. Somebody says, happy 420, happy 420, sir. Oh, it is 420. You want to run this? Yeah. You shall not pass. Yep. Thank you. I'll grab the other battery. Well, first let me make sure if it's the monitor or if it's the camera. I don't know. 70% on camera, so it's the monitor. What's your Right now, I'm recording them. Um, <laughs> come on, 
simple one. I had to. I had to. That was a, that was a good question. I'm about to record now, a drum punch. Go ahead. Come on. And he's, I'm recording him. He's, recording, he's recording them. me recording. I'm so recording. if you could record me recording him recording them, that would be really awesome. We'd have a lot. We'd have four people recording people who were recording people. And Hello. How are you today? I'm good. Hey, we're recording you. And I'm recording me recording you, and he's recording me recording me recording you, and she's gonna record me recording him recording me recording you. If that's okay. That's a lot of recording. I know. <laughs> it's super awesome though, right? And y'all have security cameras in here. So y'all are recording all of us. Y'all are recording all of us recording all y'all. Yes. It's a good time. Apparently so. so How are I'm, you today? I'm good. How are you doing? Oh, fantastic. Okay, so what I have here, you guys wanted to be the last five felony files. Yes, ma'am. Correct? Okay. Yes, ma'am. So I have the last four. The fifth one is actually in Judge Tucker's office. Okay, no problem. Office. No problem. The last four will be perfect. I'm going to leave them right here and I'll, I'll give them right back to you. What I'm looking for, and just so you know, is there's a rule that says that you can redact people's personally identifying information from criminal court filings. And as a court clerk, y'all can't do anything. It's not y'all's job. But what we're doing is we're looking at whether or not they're doing a good job of redacting people's personal information. So like if I wanted to come over here and say, go buy a truck or something and use somebody's you know, name and information, we wouldn't want me being able to, to get all that information. See, like in this one, look at that. They did a good job. See how they redacted his social security number and stuff? That's a fantastic job. So we're just checking to see if that's what's going on here and y'all are doing a good job of it or not. And it's not y'all, it's actually the cops and stuff. Oh, registered citizen. Darn it. We were doing so good until we had all their personally identifying information on all their IDs and stuff. Thank you, ma'am. Can I get a pen and a piece of paper folks. real quick? Can I just get a pen and a piece of paper real quick? I just want to write I'm not going to show you guys their personally identifying information, folks. Hey, but they redacted on all the information. Y'all are better than most people. Hey, none of his personally identifying information. Nailed that one. Thank you. Redacted social security number and stuff. Thank you, ma'am. I won't put it on there. Yes, ma'am, we'll do. Oh, okay. Yes, ma'am, we'll do. I, I won't lose it. I'm putting it in my pocket right now. Yes, ma'am. See, when we go do this stuff, people always come up and ask for additional help with things. We always run into people who need help on something, and we just help them. They redacted his information. Redacted. I mean, y'all are doing insanely well. Redacted. Redacted. Oh, darn it. See what I'm talking about? See, they didn't, see, they got it. See how up here they got it, like driver's license number, social security number, they redacted it. But then like back here on this, this affidavit, social security number, I mean, I could, you know, I could steal all of this guy's information. So, I mean, y'all did better than most, but uh, we'll talk to the DA about encouraging them to not to file that stuff. Thank you for your hospitality. I appreciate it. All right. Well, oops. Darn it. Turn around. Hey, all right. Sorry about that, folks. Okay, so what we've established here uh, is that, uh, in fact, they are uh, filing things with people's social security numbers uh, in them. So when I go back to, I'm going to go back and stop by the district attorney's office and uh, let them know that that is an issue and uh, our investigation. Why does this thing not want to do what I want it to do? I gotta figure out this camera. I gotta figure out this thing better. All right, y'all go on a tour this way so you can stop staring at my ugly face.
Hello? Man, it looks like somebody's like gotten after this glass before. Hey, I checked and they are releasing social security numbers and stuff on some information and things. So I said I wasn't sure about that one. So I went up there and looked and they were doing it better than a lot of people. But yeah, a couple of them, I could have just stolen all their information. So thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right, folks. So the, 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 oh, the Gandalf. Where is the Gandalf? Oh, he's got the Gandalf. <laughs> All right, uh, folks, we're going to go over to the federal courthouse now. Should we take them? There's 500. Y'all want to go to the courthouse with us? Should we keep it going? 500 people in there? 559? Well, come on, let's go to the federal courthouse, y'all. All right, thank y'all for your hospitality. We appreciate that. Do you know we got, we got threatened to be arrested the other day in Pottawatomie County? Which really um, sucks, man. They, uh, it just kills the vibe. Like, literally, we're over there because they served in, so this judge issues a protective order against a, a nine-year-old. <laughs> And then they kick us out of the courthouse for recording. It was like, yeah, simply for filming. Just like we ask polite questions over there, yeah, over here. So Apparently it's illegal they, they to do it over there. Because we kept going back to Iris. Like, why wouldn't you go back? Oh, yeah, no. I'm going to go I'm gonna go get arrested next week over there. Um, no, no, no. Like that, truly, like, that way it's an additional civil rights claim. So, I'm, no, I. It's just Skeletor. <laughs> you know Skeletor? <laughs> She's the. Okay, so there's a there's a security lady that works for the sheriff's department there. She truly looks like Skeletor. Yeah. She's, she's scary. Yes, very scary looking. <laughs> All right, everybody. There you have it. There you have it. There you have it. So now we're going to go over there and see that. Okay, oops. That right there is the federal courthouse. I don't really have anything I need over at the federal courthouse, but I do like screwing with the government. So I figured we'll go over there and show you guys a tour of the federal courthouse. Y'all want to tour the federal courthouse? Hey everybody, please visit Okmulgee. Oh, we're going to Okmulgee next, folks. We're going to Okmulgee next. We're literally heading from here to Okmulgee. We don't need to drive the federal courthouse right there, guys. Oh, sure, go ahead. He's good. All right, Grande Johnson's going to question the sheriff. We're going to walk over to the uh, to the federal courthouse. Here, let's pop by the car. Pop by the car. Lee wants to pop by the car. Careful. Don't get hit. Thank you. Oh, hey, I think that the, a lady gave me something needs help. Hold on to this. Hold on to this, Lee. Lady needs some help and asked us to call. What's, What's up? We're at Gorilla Publishing. G U E R R I L L A Publishing. On YouTube, yeah. Yeah. Gorilla like warfare, because that's what we do. Uh, this video will probably come out next week. Well, if we get a video. I mean, it depends. I mean, actually, I got a No, I got a good. Okay, yeah. We got a video. Uh, G Gorilla. G U E R R R I L L A Publishing. Yeah, and it's got like a it's got like a gorilla with a gavel. Yeah, yeah, we're, that's us. Yeah, we're smaller. The other guy's James Freeman. Yeah, he's James Freeman. He's got like six hundred thousand followers on his, but we're growing every day. Thank y'all. Please do have a good one. G U E. Hey, Lee, I gave I gave info to this is my son. I gave your info to him so we don't lose it. Did they really? Well, plus, if you let us know, if you let us know what it is, we can look into the case. We can get the body cam. We can do all that they stuff. Gave me, they gave me. That's why I was in there talking with them about. They gave me an edited body camera. Okay, See, so we want the whole thing though. Okay, but this is what they did. They came. The sheriff got. The sheriff got over my house at 3:35 p.m. His body camera starts off at 3:38.43. He says, "Put your hands behind you." Uh huh. I said, "That's not what happened." We, we have an old man. Camera. We have a veteran that the Oilton police uh, assaulted. And the body cam doesn't start when it should have started because the cops don't start it. And we had a we had a body cam of another guy in Oklahoma City. He's trying to turn off his damn body cam. Okay, so they called the ambulance at three thirty eight point twenty. So how do you call the ambulance before you 
contact. Right. Yes. Yeah, yes. I was well, get, hey, you, did you give us? Did you give me your info? I gave you that. Yeah. That's Lee's got it. Lee's got it. It's in my pocket. But we'll reach out. Yes. I'm gonna go over to the federal courthouse real quick. I, I don't want to lie. I'm live streaming, so I don't want to catch her in the picture. Folks, we'll get that. She's asking for help. She got beat up by the uh, Muskogee Police Department and they only released a uh, partial body cam. Um, and uh, that's uh, so I'm going to leave so you can see they're going to be over there talking to her. And uh, we're going to go on over here and see what's going on at the federal courthouse and see if we can't just get a little tour and see how they behave themselves at this federal courthouse. I, don't, I have no idea. Uh, Ed Edmondson, United States Courthouse. Drew Edmondson used to be a governor. The Edmondsons are a big, popular, powerful family that came from Muskogee, uh, but I think their empire has waned. The Drummond family has got a lot of power now. Y'all have heard of the Pioneer Woman, and that's the Drummond family. <laughs> Pioneer my ass. She grew up very, very wealthy. Da 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 Think we can get a tour? What y'all think? I don't know. Oh, fantastic. How are you? Okay, you today. Oh, I just wanted to do a tour. tour. Yes, sir. No, can't have a phone in here, sir. Can't have a phone in here? No. Like any phone? Yes. Like, so nobody can have a phone in here? You can't bring a phone in here. You can't record in this building either. But if I was another person, I could bring a phone in here. No. Like, if Bob came in here and wasn't recording, could Bob bring a phone in here? Bob, it's outside. He, that's not recording. So you have a no cell phone policy for anybody policy? Other than employees. So employees can bring in a phone. Correct. But nobody else can. Correct. What about attorneys? Leave. Can attorneys bring in a phone? Leave. Can attorneys bring in a phone? phone in yeah, I'm not in the building yet. I'm not through security. Okay. You can't record inside this building. Where does it say that? Right there. Where at? Right here? Yeah, okay. Prohibited within court-occupied space. I'm not going to go in the court-occupied space. Just give us a second loop on Premier, one of the marshals, and maybe they can explain to you that. Yeah, I just wanted to... Uh, well, I, I'm just trying to figure out what the rule is. You said that that was the rule, and it says prohibited within court-occupied space. And so if you put the word court-occupied space, to me that tells me that the rest of the areas are not court-occupied space, and therefore we can record those places. Yeah, I, that's a, just we'll we get to the answer to it. I, I understand, but you're just a court security officer. You're not, you don't have the power to tell me what the government wants me to do and threaten to arrest me if if I don't leave. Once they do that, then I'll have my violation and I'll be on my way. Okay. Okay. You're just security. Right. 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 So, I don't really listen to security very well. We can detain you. You can detain me. Yes. For what? Violating the rules of this building. Really. You have the authority to do that? To detain you, no. how, how do you think it would work out if you come try to detain me for recording right here? Think like that would work out very well for you? Would you like us to? No, I'm just asking you how you think it would work out for you. Okay. I, I don't recognize your authority, and I'm standing here being very polite, asking for clarification of a policy from the marshals. Can you get a marshal at the front door? Can you call Are you having a bad day? No, sir. I'm having a great day. You are? When you go home at night, do you beat your wife to 
take care of your frustrations. You seem like a very frustrated person. No. You seem like you seem like here just because you like to exert some authority. Why didn't you just go be like I don't know a real cop or something? I was for eleven years. Yeah. What'd you get fired for? I didn't. No. Did you beat a lot of people during the course of your career? No. Where were you a cop? Didn't I tell you? No. Where were you? None of your business. Oh, was it in Oklahoma? It was. Yeah. So none of my business in Oklahoma. Correct. Okay. Cool. What's your name? You want to identify yourself? I can look you up that way. You don't want to identify yourself? No? That's not part of your responsibilities as a no, no court security officer? Okay. Y'all work for a uh, private company, right? You, work for, you get paid from a private company. You don't get paid from the federal government, if I remember correctly. Is that right? I don't know. You tell me. I, I mean, I'm just asking a question. Okay. You don't know who you get paid from? I do. None of my business. Okay. That's cool. I appreciate that. They said you can't record in here, but it just says you can't record in the court occupied space. So they said I can't come in. And oh, is it a federal court? Yeah. Yeah, they're not very good at obeying the law. Yeah, I know. So I just told them that I needed a marshal to tell me that since they're just lowly security. I'll yeah, wait for the marshal to tell me that. They're, they're I know. They think that. You've got to but, understand where they're at. Right, right. Or where they think they're at. But I mean, you know. For a piss poor job and you know something you want to do where you don't have to require much brain cells, there's not much. I mean, operating a metal detector and say you shall not pass for having a camera. Right. I mean, it does. It makes them feel good about themselves. It's called it's a called a good job for people with small penises. <laughs> I mean, it's it's what it is. It's a good job for people like that. It gives them a little masculinity and authority in their lives. They can't abuse anybody else. That dude's not married. I asked him if he beat his wife, and I noticed he's not married. So, white dude, does you know. <laughs> what about your husband? Do you like to go to the strip clubs with your husband? Does he let you get bent over and, and get abused? <laughs> your buddy's laughing. I mean, your it's buddies are laughing it's like it's true. It's I mean, your buddies are laughing like, yeah, we knew that. that. We knew that about him. He likes, you would. You know what you would do really well? Boston has a lot of male strip clubs. I was trying to put a female strip club in there, but apparently they have policies against that because the cops up there really only like the dudes. I think you'd fit really well in the Boston Police Department. You have that, you have that stupid attitude that would just go really well up there. And the I don't know anything and I'm just going to exert whatever somebody tells me to kind of authority. I mean, you just, you just scream idiot. So you'd work really well with them. No? Okay. Oh, I mean, I'm just saying. You should apply. They, they make pretty good money. A lot better than you do probably making it for being a security guard at the federal I mean, courthouse in Muskogee. Like almost 180000 a yeah. year for a lot Boston of them. Yeah, in Boston. I mean, it's, yeah. it's a place to live. Yeah, you know. they make good money. They do, but they actually had to go like complete a training course and get certifications. That's a little beyond the security courses y'all have to go through. I mean, while we're waiting in the lobby, should we do an open record detector quest? Can't. Really. That's a FOIA request in federal court buildings. Uh, be a FOIA request. request. Yeah. F-O-I-A. Yeah. Yeah. Freedom of Information Act. Uh, okay. Yeah. Is that Marshall coming to tell us to leave? Hey, can you can you do a Boston accent for me? No. Come on, try it out, bro. Yeah, maybe it'd be good. Okay. Yeah. It'd be I'm, good. I'm just trying to chill. Beck yeah, Beck yeah, Beck yeah, Beck yeah, Beck yeah. I can't, I, man, you know? No, no Boston accent. You don't want to do it? I was there for two weeks. I never nailed it. Uh, no, I, I mean, yeah, we get it, but uh, you still can practice a Boston accent, right? You know, I got her number. How about them apples? Right, that's the only thing I know. Is, like, is that a Boston accent? I wasn't a very good one. <laughs> that was terrible. I know. I didn't say I was good at a Boston accent. I was just willing to try. Can you do it? Can you do I, a Boston I was told accent? I wrong. I was told I, was, I got a New York accent. I was like, Boston. And they told me that ain't Canadian. Are you required to sign in today? No, just for us. for you? No, we're just not allowed to get in with cameras. And then they said there's a rule that nobody with a camera that's not an employee can get in. So I just wanted to clarify that with the marshal because I think they're lying to me. I mean, that's not legal. Can I see? Well, see, here's the problem. Okay. See, see, there is that rule. There is that rule in the Northern District, right but they have these little boxes and things yeah, where you have to. I told you why I'm here. I, just want to make sure I'm I was truly here just to do a tour of the building. I'd have been in and out. I'd have walked up and down the hallways. I'd have been bored. But these people, these people wanted to. Uh, hey, you're the, are you the marshal? I am a deputy marshal. Oh, thank you. What can you identify yourself for us? My name's Jeff. Jeff, what's the last name? Landers. Landers. Do you have a badge number or anything? I do. Thank you. We got a question for you. So these guys are saying that there's no, well, first of all, they said that nobody is allowed to bring a phone in the building other than employees. And so my first question is, I don't believe them. I don't think that's a correct rule. And I, they were lying to me. So my they first question, so nobody can bring in a phone that's not an employee. Or some attorneys. Okay. Some attorneys. What, what's the requirement? So I'm admitted as an attorney in this district. Can I walk in with my camera? Do you have your credit card? 
Congrats. Yeah, I got my bar card with me. I'm admitted to uh, this is the this is the Eastern District of Oklahoma. I'm admitted to this and the bankruptcy court. But my question really, again, are average people, no average person that comes in this building is allowed to bring in a phone. Okay. But this rule right here says prohibited within court occupied space. So why would the rule say I understand that. But court occupied space, there's the court clerk, then there's the courts, there's all these other divisions here. So my question is that rule seems to indicate that you only can't go in these spaces that are specifically occupied by the court. But there are other provisions and places in this like the court clerk and other things that aren't the court. So we're not allowed to go anywhere? Is your position on that? And if I try to go through that, you're going to arrest me. You will not be allowed to bring your phones in camera. And if I do that, you'd arrest me for trying. That's why I can't bring it. I'm just asking. It's, a, just, yes no it's a yes or no question. If I try to bring my camera in and go through with my camera to record, you're gonna you'd have you'd arrest me, correct? There would be grounds taken to where you don't do that. So, okay, so you would take so you would physically abuse me and keep me from going through with my phone. I did not say that. Well, what would you do? I, I'm trying to figure out what the extent of what you're going to do to me is if I go through with my phone. Sir, I, I'm just asking a question. You are not going to be allowed to do that. So you're going to physically stop me from doing that. Yes. Would you put your hands on me? That's up to you. No, I'm, it's up to you. I don't choose whether you put your hands on me or not. What I'm asking you is if I try to do this, are you going to put your hands on me to stop me? Or are you just going to ask me nicely? Well, we've, I think that we have asked you that. You have. And I'm saying that asking me nicely doesn't work. I need you to tell me that under threat of arrest, you're not going to let me go in this building. You are not going to be allowed to go in the building. And if I try to go in, you're going to physically detain me or arrest me. Is that correct? More likely. Uh, it's more than likely just it's a yes or no answer because more than likely it doesn't work I'm going to try to go in I prefer to you to just tell me I can't do that you're going to arrest me or detain me and you will physically detain me or arrest me if I try to do so no it's not what does more than likely mean it's a yes or no question well, I'm going to have to try it and make you do it. I'd rather you not have to do that. So can we please avoid that and you just you, tell me you're going to you do it? You will not be allowed to go past that point. And you'll physically stop me? Somebody will, yes. Okay, that's all I needed. Thank you very much. All right, all right that's it. Right. So nobody else can come in here recording? Nobody else buddy, can come in with the phone? I, I'm not buddy. I, I, you know, I'm not buddy. I'm not your buddy. We're not friends here. Okay. We're clearly not friends. You're, you're infringing on constitutionally protected activity to record a hallway. You realize how dumb that is? I mean, honestly, we can agree that the policy of not allowing people to record in a building is a pretty dumb policy. Wouldn't you agree with that? No. Even if you don't agree with that? Why? And you are free to leave. I, I'm, I understand, and I'm free to stay then, too. Okay. Well, then stay there. Okay. I'm just as long as we got that clear. If I'm free to stay, I'm free to leave. Sir, we didn't get your name and stuff. What's your name, uh, Baldy, back there? You're a big dude. What's your name? He's the muscle. Mama raised me well. <laughs> Mama raised me well. Mama raised mine too. Look, I, I'm not making fun of a big boy. I'm a big boy myself. They, they just call like, when they get scared, are you the one that comes and like deals with it? You look like the enforcer. I mean, you do. Yeah. Like, honest to God, if I was hiring for one of my bars right now, like you would be the first guy I would hire to be security because you would never have to touch anybody. They would just be like, please, sir, don't hurt me. I might end up <laughs> making you a lot of money drinking at your bar. Well, you know, you might, I, I, you know, you've seen to be nice. I just saw a big fella and I was like, damn, I'm glad you weren't here earlier. I'd have probably run out of here. You don't have to be an asshole when you're that big. Right. You, you can just like be as, look. you can just be as nice as you, as you want to be. Good beard there too. You, you two got good beards going on. Good job. Y'all need to get that guy to just be a little, lighten up just a little bit. He's just not very friendly. Uh, and maybe get, a hey, maybe he got, get him a, get him a date or something. He needs a date or something. I think I think he needs some love in his life. I think he'd be happier if he just came out of the closet. He I think so too. Hey, look, you know it's all right. We can we can bring you to Club Majestic in Tulsa. I can introduce you to some of the some of the uh, the guy. Oops, I'm sorry. The, some of the he, she, it, them, theys that are there, and you can pick whichever pronoun you want to pick there. They got every variety of pronouns. There's the he's, the these, the theys, the them's, the that's, the he's, the she's, the it's, the. Whatever is your is your game, just like on Pornhub, you can get whatever you want at the at the Majestic in Tulsa. You want to go there this weekend? I got some free time. We'll get you we'll get you hooked up, make you make your life a little better, cheer up a little bit. No, no thanks. All right. Well, look, the 848 people that are watching you right now really think you need to get hooked up with with a guy um, and get yourself some happiness in your life. No, it ain't even a thing anymore, man. Nobody cares. You be right. you. 
It's just, you know, the only person that hurts when you're in the closet is you. N none of us care, bro. We're happy for you. Yeah. Right. I, I, look, I, no, no shame, no judgment yeah. here. It ain't like I, I'm, a, I'm a libertarian. I believe that everybody should be able to do whatever the heck they want to. So yeah. I, I, no right. judgment, no shame. I mean, I was, I'd have had a fun time in Babel and stuff, man. I'd have been getting down in, in, the, in the holy lands of uh, carnage and uh, moral uh, I depravity. I, I'd have had a lot of fun over there. I can see it's probably tough for you, too, though, because a lot of gay guys these days are really fit. And it'd be, I mean, yeah. it'd be hard for you to yeah. pick up a woman, let alone a man looking like that. So I can see how that would be tough. But, hey, we, can, we also we know people who own gyms. We can get you in shape. We can get you back into the day. Get you a gym membership, get, too. Yeah. Oh. We're good people, bro. Yeah. I believe you. We're, okay. We're, we're chill. We're chill, Yeah, bro. yeah. Yeah, thank you. Beck yeah. Beck yeah. Beck yeah, bro. Beck yeah, bro. Beck yeah. Or whatever. Beck yeah, or whatever. This guy is chill as hell. This guy, y'all, you, you, you are chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, is yeah, yeah, yeah. chill. You are super chill. He is super chill. How much weed have you smoked today? Because, look, I smoke a lot of weed, and you look like my kind of guy that would, like, get high with me. And, look, I don't know if you knew him, but my buddy Nathan Hendrickson used to work here as a security guy for a long, long time. Any of y'all know him? He was my best friend in the world. He passed away cancer about five years ago. And quite frankly, that's why I came over here to do a tour. I, I, I'd been through this building many a times with Nathan, and I thought it would be all right. I didn't run, figure I'd run into, you know, Gandalf the Great there. Then once to block, no, you shall not pass. I, I didn't figure I'd run into Lurch. So, anyway, that's why I came by. So, in, in truth, I really do respect what you guys do. Nathan was my best friend in the world. Loved the man to death. We lost him to pancreatic cancer. But uh, get him a date. He, he, needs, he needs a girlfriend. Y'all be careful. All right, we're going to. We'll leave you alone now. Y'all have a good one. Y'all have a good weekend. Y'all got something to talk about now. Keep it chill. Keep it chill, bro. Beck yeah. Beck yeah. Beck yeah. Beck yeah, y'all. Yeah, By the way, I love Tua Pre. If y'all have never watched the Tua Pre show or channel, um, it's awesome. And uh, he, I am too. And he went by, he went out with an ele uh, with an elevator, with an umbrella, uh, and uh, got some great content filming some products and some stores. It was, <laughs> it was awesome. Uh, James and I watched it last night and laughed our asses off. Uh, get so, baked out of your mind. Yeah. Get baked out of your mind yes. and then watch Tua Pre. It's hey, a wait, new level. Wait, hold that for a second. There you go. Oh, now you're gonna get de uh, you're gonna get deplatformed. Oh, it's not. No. no, I don't think that's a bad thing anymore. It used to be on no, YouTube. No, no, it's, it's hemp. The cigarette. It's hemp. Oh, it's not tobacco. This no, time? it's it's legal hemp. Oh, okay. Totally legal, federally legal hemp, right? Uh huh. Yes. One hundred percent. Point three for me, baby. Oh shit! Dropped my joint. Oh. Saved it. I'd have smoked it off the ground though. I would have walked out to the. <laughs> walked out to what? I don't know, the feds gonna go, the go. feds aren't gonna arrest me for a joint. And again, federally legal hemp. Point three for me. Point three for me. Yeah, that's what you say. That's what you say, she. It's just hemp, she. Are there any uh, other buildings around here? Um Are there any other buildings here? Hey y'all, Lee just asked a question. Hey. Hey, y'all. That's Lee. Building. He just asked, are there any other buildings here? I don't know, y'all. What do you say? Are there any other buildings here? What kind of building are you looking for there, Lee Thomas? A government building, but I guess the sheriff's... The sheriff's no, we're going to Oak Mulgee now. So we're, we're going to Oak Mulgee because the Oak Mulgee cops kicked out the tribal cops, and we want to do some investigating on that, and I got some other things uh, that are going on there. So we're going to... They made the federal police... I don't pass. Case. I don't share. I mean, yes, I do share. What am I talking about? What? They made the federal police their bitch. <laughs> Oh, hey, I got the threat of arrest from the marshal. It only took, you know, 20 minutes uh, to get. All right, guys and ladies and he, she, it's, them, they's, or whatever other pronoun you go by. We love you. We appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, the city hall and the city police. We could go there. Is it walking distance? Uh, we can go. Get the phone. Google it. Okay. Yeah, Google stay alive. It. I'm staying alive. I'm staying alive. Stay alive. Stay alive. What are Google where the PD is. That was the sheriff in the county courthouse. Point two miles away. In the uh, municipal building, it's probably kind of... How long of a walk? Uh, good walk, though. Uh, I'm good, good with walking. It's a five-minute walk. You want to walk or drive? I'll, I'll walk. It's because it's got us going in circles, though. Let's walk. All right, I'm going to get another car. Where we are. We're Folks, up. we're going to Muskogee City Hall. Yeah, it's like right behind that. Yeah, okay. Okay, all right. All right, we can go. We can go, see?
what are you up to, sir? Well, look, there's uh, 748 people watching. Promote it, promote it away. What you got? Awesome. So yeah, Wayne, I just, uh, Lance Patrick has started the, the Roxy Comedy Club. I like comedy. Yeah, absolutely. So we, we just recently started it. Do you allow weed smoking in there? Uh, not inside, but, but, uh, but you won't kick me out if I'm smoking it outside. Yeah, and it's smoking outside. Oh, yeah. you're my kind of place. Right, give me one of these yeah, flyers. Let's no, show no, people. Nothing on the inside. No, no, nothing in the inside. What do you want to yeah, give no, me? I got, I got two of them. I got two of okay. them here. So we got a film festival coming up in May, May second, Baribones Film Festival. It's widely renowned, widely known as the world's friendliest film festival. Okay. Um, it, friendly. What kind of friendly? Bare bones. Am I, am I going to see naked people in that? I could. Possibly. Oh my god, I'm in. When is this? What kind of films, uh, films oh, okay, I'm, I'm in. Can we can we put a film in there? Absolutely. Yeah, contact Bear Bones with Oscar Ray. He's a manager at uh, um, yeah, Roxy. I'm assistant manager. Okay. Um, he, he'll he'll get you hooked up for sure. He, Very he's cool. a great guy to work with. Um, yeah, we started Roxy Comedy Club. We had our first event uh, about three weeks, three, four weeks ago. And so all these are local people. We got three from Muskogee, a couple from Tulsa, Tahlequah. Gotcha. Can I awesome. uh, hit that? Yeah, absolutely. QR code. Absolutely. And it's only ten dollars. So seven comedians. Ten bucks. We have a bar inside Thanks. the Roxy Theater. So come get a drink, enjoy yourself. I don't uh, drink anymore. I gave it up. There you go. Darn it. We'll enjoy the smoke outside. Oh, I will enjoy. The, oh, I will enjoy the smoke. All right. Well, get, can we have? Uh, he's got a picture of the flyer. No, keep your flyer. You only got a couple. So we got it. Yeah. What's the other one? Let me get the. What's the other one you got? On the film festival. Oh, on the film festival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got a couple of them right there. That way I can show people what, too. What's what? What's what? Um, so these are for tickets, and this is for registration. Oh, so okay. Tickets to the event and the registration okay. if you want to promote, get a film in there. Anything okay, like cool. That. Awesome. So, what y'all do? Promote Muskogee a little bit? Just come, come No, we came to get some stuff at the courthouse and they kicked us out and then they kicked us out of the federal oh. courthouse. I, uh, you and, want me uh, to page it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, 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 like audio stuff. I, well, I mean, you know, yeah, James is going to murder you. No, we're investigative journalists, yeah, no, but I love audit stuff. I love all yeah. these videos. Yeah, so, so we're Guerrilla Publishing, like Warfare, G U E R R I L L A, like Guerrilla Warfare. And uh, he's James Freeman. And G U E R R I L L A. Okay. And are y'all on YouTube? Yeah, Publishing. YouTube. Why don't you have a QR code, guys? I, yeah, I know. <laughs> get, get him on that. Know, uh, get him on that. I'll, I'll follow it. I'm, I got my phone with Charlie. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the name. Hey, uh, hey, James. What's up? Will you unlock the truck or the car? Yep. Actually, unlock the car. It, it got warm. Oh, wow. That one was good. All right, you can lock it back. Are you on the phone? This area just bring it home. I live in, we live in Tulsa. He's come, he's moving here. Gotcha. So. Yeah, yeah, so. We're going to walk towards the city hall now. Hey, well, thanks for promoting this. Oh, hey, no problem. I'm dropping, no problem. I'm just dropping stuff off the business. Well, hey, you got, you got a decent following on here. 728 watching live right now. Well, I appreciate that. No problem. I can go get my medical card. You gotta record uh, some uh, product in the windows, or? Oh yeah, I could. Wanna? I'll stand back if you wanna. I could. Sit on the bench and... Yeah, yeah, I come in. <laughs> Beck yeah, Beck yeah, Beck yeah. Hydrate, don't. I like hydrate, don't dehydrate, is what I like. Big yeah. Guys, I couldn't. He's got more patience than I do. I'm bored already. Yeah. Like, honestly, any, any of the people who, like, stand around and film for a long play time to finally trigger somebody, I, I don't have it in me. I, I'm ADHD. I'm already bored. Well, you got to right. find something to do while you're standing up. I know. You're well, I don't have any. Out. Yeah. Look, Tua Pre freaking has to work out. You see those karate moves? Dude could beat you up oh, for I sure. More like jiu -jitsu I know, me. I know. I wouldn't want to mess with him. And he comes off like an idiot, but you can tell he's super smart. Oh, dude, he comes off like a freaking genius. No, I mean, but he's trying to come off like a crazy idiot to the people. But yeah. if you watch what he's doing, he's like, you know, I'm just here, like, you know, First Amendment and all. Like, you know, he's just throwing little, little uh, quips. He's got them all out smart, um, out outgunned, <laughs> and acts like an idiot. Yeah, somebody said he's six foot fourteen as well. I think that would be seven <laughs> yeah. foot two. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> math, uh, yes, he is tall. Six the robot, 14. the robot one. Man, he, like, I don't know where they got those robot costumes, but I love that. <coughs> hey, thank you so much. Just some guy. We appreciate you. We're gonna keep up the good work. Uh, the donations and support really helps uh, because. 
Honestly, we are losing money every day doing this, uh, and uh, I'm okay with that. We're gonna get to, we're gonna get to, uh, you know, a place where we can expand, and that's the, my focus, folks, is to expand this and make this the largest production company of First Amendment and quality Gonzo journalism content uh, and first person, you know, interesting things that's ever been on YouTube. Hello. So, how are you? Good. She's buying scrubs. She works. She works in a medical position. Oh, is that what that is? Scrubs? Yep, scrubs. There's always something about like a scrub sale. All the ladies go nuts about them. I never have understood that. James, are you directing us, or are we just? Uh, no, man, I'm just letting you aimlessly wander. Yeah, we're actually. Away. Hey, there was a city clerk that was uh, letting the uh, FedEx girl bend her over. I wonder if that happens a lot. I want to ask a FedEx guy that. You know, I think that my map may have frozen. Cause... So we're walking the wrong direction? No, we're definitely, we might need to take a right here by now, though. All right. I think it froze up on Well, the people are losing interest watching us walk around town, I gotta tell you. Yeah, we probably should've driven. Probably should've drove. Yeah, this shit's frozen, so I can't get us there anymore. Here, Look, here. It's, it's frozen right you here. You hold this, you hold this. Okay. Talk to these people. Hi, people. And, uh, I'll, oh, wait, where's my phone? Yeah, I'm just frozen in the where's, same spot the we were at. The thing, it's, yeah, Lee, just use a different device. I don't know why, it's just... Yeah, I, this way. I, I have a feeling. I think it's to the right. And... Do you know where City Hall is? Exit 32. Like the cop, the police station, is it that way? That way. Thank you. You want to come with us? <laughs> I'll screw it with government. We're live. On the interwebs. You want to come? Yeah, we're just screwing with government. Do you want to come? You want to come with? You can come. You're finding directions. Because my, my my thing is frozen. It still says we're standing in the same spot no matter how far we walk. Why don't we look for Muskogee City Hall? City Hall? Yeah. Well, City Hall is the police station. Wherever we, can, wherever we can harass the government. Um, I thought it was down that way. Did you guys not come from that way? Yeah, we did. We're the stupid. courthouse was down there. Yeah. Oh. I don't then see I it on here. City Hall, Muskogee. Muskogee Municipal Building. It shows right here where it's at, but it's... Man, they have terrible reviews. It says that we're... Uh, it, it won't move for me. Every time we, we walk, it still says we're in the same spot. Yeah, I'm frozen. Said, so, um, I don't know exactly what building you're talking about, but I have lived here my whole life, so I would know no if I did. Hey, you like, sent us the complete the wrong like, I would know exactly where it was. Oh, did, I, did we pass it? Yeah. Are you coming with us? Sure. Sweet. We got another uh, member of the party. And a dog. What kind of dog is that? He's a Thai Ridgeback. Can I pet that dog? Absolutely. Can I pet that dog? My hands are full now. Yeah, I'll need you to hold something, Ron. So I can pet that dog. We got, uh, we added more to the crew, y'all. What's your name? Isabel. Isabel, I'm James. Nice to meet you. And this is Ron. Hello. And Lee. Hello, puppy. Oh shoot! Look Hello, what it did, puppy. Ron. Hello, puppy. It did a thing. Oh, it did a thing. Oh, look at you. Did it die? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, it died. It died. Yeah. Alright, you just gotta take the phone out. Uh oh. Just flip your phone sideways, guys. I'm going to. I'm going Dude, to. I'm still in here, the same here, intersection. Here you, here you go. Hold it. Intersection. Intersection. Uh, orientation is like uh, rotate around the other opposite direction. So you guys are from here? Oh, we live in Tulsa. He's not from here. I'm from. Well, I've been living in New Mexico for a while. Oh, yeah. All right, where's this here? I'll take it back. Um. All right, folks. Uh, no, we're not. We're really we're not. Um, I wish we were. Uh, I, I don't get high. Um, I don't think it's possible for me to get high uh, without something very very strong. I wake up and smoke. Oh, okay. Point three for me, and I uh, smoke it all day. If you ever want to know why I don't drive, it's because I don't believe in operating a motor vehicle under the influence of anything that could potentially impact my ability to drive, which is why you don't see me drive. And if you do, it's because I haven't had any, and I'm usually not in a very good mood when that's the situation. Somebody says I can see why you're losing money to do this. This is a losing proposition, but that's okay. 
Did James lose a bit to Johnny again is why he chopped his beard? Hey, people want to know why you chopped off your beard. Um, Hang on. Let me get you on camera. Because it's so high maintenance. It Man, you were like a high maintenance person with that beard. It was 30 minutes at least every morning just for the beard. Primping like a girl. And then, and then all day long, three or four times a day, I got to spend another 15 minutes to brush it, get it back under control. I mean, it was seriously high maintenance. So when I'm traveling like this, it's, it just makes it really difficult. When I'm at home and I got my routine, I got my bathroom. No, let's, 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 let's be honest. When you're at home, you have your wife who yeah. takes care of your beard for you. She did for a while. She taught me how to do it. Oh, oh was, it a, was it a hard process it learning? Was. So it's, it's naturally pretty straight. Like most people's beards are, are curly, right? Uh -huh. so my beard is naturally straight, but it, uh, it goes on, it throws gang signs. So it's straight, <laughs> but in all different directions. I got you. It's so so it's, it's like one, one's pointing right, one's pointing left. Yeah. All right, Leah, where's the city? You gotta use a hot flat iron. Uh, Mother fricker. All right, right, right here. You wanna see how many other people we can gather up to go with us? I think we can get through like 20 uh, people. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, everybody's. Oh, people are just chill out here, right? Oh, yeah. Or whatever. They're chill or whatever. Chill or whatever. Chill or whatever. Fly, I think. Yeah, back yeah. Part of the GPS. We were going the exact opposite direction. Yes. You guys, who was navigating? You were. No yes. That was you navigating us the wrong direction. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It looks like a government building to some degree. It's got this look of hopelessness and despair that typically goes. That building right across the street. With the Oklahoma flag and stuff. Yeah, hopelessness and despair is what it looks like. It's the standard format for all government buildings. And folks, we don't have the gimbal. So if it's shaky, stop complaining. I'm walking, ninja walking. The gimbal die on you? You want this one? No. All right. You can't use the microphone with it, but it's steady. We don't have the microphone. The microphone wasn't working. That's why everybody was oh. complaining at us early on, saying, there's no audio. There's no audio. Because Lee hasn't figured out how to use the DJI hey, with the phone. The Android. You didn't want to use that. They allowed no, dogs. the Android was dead. They allow dogs in the city hall? <laughs> don't hit me. Don't hit me. I'm beginning to think that this was a bad idea what is? to walk. Let it be yeah, it's a long walk, especially when you go the wrong way first. Yeah. Oh, uh, we're getting there. Folks, we're getting there. Give us just a minute. You're going to have some more some more stuff in just a minute. More content coming up. Blame James. Yes, it's always James's fault. We don't have Josh here. Right now. There's like 7 or 800 people want 700, I think. You had like 800 when you were in the federal courthouse, right? Yeah. Good content. Like, yeah, people got bored. They didn't like walking us walk the wrong way, James. You've cost us our audience. We go we go in Josh, does, right? Josh, Josh loves triggering old yeah, ladies. Josh. <laughs> both of them. Yeah, the both. Of, yes. Both, Josh. All right, it's on third. Okay, it's on third. It's like still like a block and a half away. Are we going the right way now? Yes. Is it this place? No. Um, I don't know what this is. That's a female. convention center. I've been to uh, some like USC style fights in there, oh, in that yeah. building. Yeah, yeah. They ran out of beer. Seemed like a dumb idea to do at a MMA event to run out of alcohol to serve people. So your target market is gonna prefer that over water. I think my GPS is a little confused. <laughs> All right. Well, look. If this is wrong, we're no. I see cop cars. I see cop cars. It says it's on the right of all, Yeah. All in one. <coughs> all right. All right. How are we going to handle this one? I mean, we want the last 20 use of force reports. 
We know what we want. That's what we want from every police department. Or how about uh, the last 20 resisting arrests? Okay, we'll go for both. Last 20 use of force reports and last 20 resisting arrests. Because like some of the ones that they beat up the most, they might not charge. Because they hope oh, okay. it goes away. All right. So that's why you want the use okay. of force. I see. I see. That's why I you see. want the use of force. All right. Because it'll catch the ones that they didn't charge. Thanks for explaining that. I really no didn't problem. Get it. No problem. Yeah. Anytime they go hands on or use their taser, they have to do a use of force. Right. But and they don't they, have to. They don't have to charge it. Right. And so if they screwed up, they might not mm -hmm. charge it. Yep. It. You'll go away hoping that you don't. Get you charged. go away if the charges don't come. They hope. Yeah. They hope it just gets buried. I would do that. I have. That. Hell yeah. As a teenager, get yeah. the shit beat out of me and then. Right. No charges, and I'm like, sweet, I got off. Look, I, I got sent to the principal's office one time for calling a teacher a B-I-T-C, you get it. Oh, and yeah. uh, they were like, why did you do that? I was like, because she was letting these other kids pick on this other kid, and I didn't like it. So I stood up for them. And uh, they're like, go back to class, and we'll deal with it next week. Next week never came. They never called me back. My teacher called me a stupid ADD kid, so I called her a stupid bitch. And that day when I went to the principal's office for like the 10th time that week, they said, I don't think this school is the right place for you. And I said, no shit. <laughs> and well, then I, and then I quit. All right. Okay. Go in? Here, James, you want to take the audience in? Sure. Anyway, I'm gonna here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the Gandalf thing. You, uh -huh. you two go in. Here. Why don't I take the audience and you take the phone? Let's be smart about this. Yeah, you, take the, you want the DJI or you want your phone? You missed the turn yet. We found it, guys. We're about to go in. All right, go. All right, pick you up. All right, y'all go in. I'm going to go over to the, cross, the parking lot and start filling their cars. Oh, okay. All right, we're going in now. Yeah, y'all go in there. Love you, Shirley. I'll go over here and fill the cars, and then I'll come in and meet you inside. Stop, you are there? Yeah, yeah I, I, I didn't know that. Thank you. Sorry about the wind. It'll get better when we get inside. Nope. Nope. I don't know if you can bring the dog in, but... Hello. Uh, where do we need to request that at? What's that? Where do we need to get that from? The request? Mm -hmm. For the investigation report? City clerk. Okay. Request for what? Investigation. you have an appointment? No. No, it's public though. We're okay. You can't go... You can't it's, it's public. Can't you record without an appointment? It's an open records act request. I can't hear you, man. Hmm? What's that? I said, if you don't have an appointment, then I'll let these doors. What doors? Those doors, or these doors, or those doors. Well, the Open Record Act says that I can come in any time during regular business, business hours, hours and request yeah. open records yeah. without an appointment. So, I mean, that's what the law says. Yeah. So, what do, what do you want to do? So, you're saying, so are you just saying we can't get any public records today? I'm not saying you can't. Without an appointment? Huh? You're saying we can't get them without an appointment? You're not allowed to build it. So basically, we can't get the records on appointment because we have to go through the doors to get the records. What? So we can't get the records because we can't what go in there with them. We need to do an open records act request with them. We need the we need the records for. No, there's no film in there. Film is film is from the nineties. This is all digital. So what we need though is uh, we need the last. No, no, no. It goes into the RAM and then to the cache, and then it's saved on the drive. <laughs> All right. Have a good one. So what we Oh, okay. So all we need is the uh, last 20 uh, use of force reports. That's all we need from the uh, police department. Is this not the police? Is this the city or this the police the department? Well, the police department's in here as well, right? Well, they, they should have the. Okay, I thought I thought you shared a building with them. Okay, can we get a? Can, 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 That's fine, but the city still holds. Okay, we also place. need a copy of the the employee handbook for here. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a hold of the city manager and have him come down and talk to you. Okay. You guys are obviously aren't going to listen to me turning your phones off. Uh, no. That's an unlawful request, so. Not with me. You can't oh. film me without my... Oh, gosh. Is that... Oh. oh. I didn't realize. Is that the law? What, well, can you can you show without me... My time, without my consent. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I should have brought a lawyer. Is that... I, I didn't know I couldn't record you. Should I just turn it off? I mean, ask you to turn should it I off. just delete the footage too, or? <laughs> Guys, I tell you what. I'm just wondering if I should delete it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm not gonna argue with you. Okay. I know that's what you want. Oh, I really just want my records. But yeah. You know, you want. If you let us get our records, we would leave. Yeah. Okay. I'm last gonna... last twenty use of force. Yeah. Between Nobody's us, man. 
Can you just get us our records? I'm going to get somebody to help shh, me. Shh, 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 don't be disorderly. I need you to calm what down. I said, don't be I'm disorderly. You need to just de 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 escalate. Calm down. De escalate. Shh, calm de escalate. Down. De escalate. Calm yourself. The last 20 calm myself. I'm not doing anything. I'm just sitting here. You're yes, okay. you're okay. Just calm down. It's okay. We just need our records. There you go. I'm sitting here. Look, see, look at it. Look, look. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I got a little hurt. I'm sorry. You're getting all flustered. Just I'm take some deep breaths. You know what? You got this. You got this. I know. He's shushing us for no reason. I agree. For no reason. Me, me, me. You know what? You're all right, bro. Just take some deep breaths. And then, you know, You said the city manager. No, I'm, I'm trying to fix that. Then please get that out of my face. It's not your face. It's literally in mine. Can you record where my phone is at, please, so that it's perfectly clear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, look, look. There, there. Let's show you. That's how far away he is. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you can't film without consent. No, you're good. Go ahead. You're going to be smart about it. You can leave. Huh? Force, force me out then. I want you to get the camera away from my desk. Can you know? You can you do it in the second. You want to stand there? One second. Are you going to do that? I'm going to do that. 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 You're the security guy. You're the security guy. But I don't want to film an audio guy. That's where I need to get shot from. I'll be the film and audio guy. You know what? You're not even. I'm sorry. Let me get you. You're doing a good job. You're shooting me. I'm shaking though. Just take some deep breaths. You're having some fun. You're upsetting me, and that's what you want. Don't be a drama queen. You're gonna. I'll be right back. You're gonna be okay. He won't let us get our public records. It's illegal. You, you want, yeah, it's okay. We're just trying to get the records. And of course, when he said. Oh, I don't care. You're fine. You're fine, man. Yeah, we're fine. So there, he's so, we're just trying to get some records, but they're. And he's not letting us go in for the public records, so it's, it's not you. It's I'm just, James, by the way. I'm very Good, good for you. I'm James, by the way. Oh, he said we, he's not letting us in, and he said we can't film without consent. A security guard. Get records without an appointment. Well, I need to go to the city clerk. Oh, no, no, it's locked. Because the the security guard just ran away. He slammed his phone down. Yeah, can we go in? For a temper change from what? What? I can't the security hear you. guard's gone. He's, I don't know where he's at. Here. There's nobody here. I don't know what that means. You got more people on now? Um, let's see, you got 720, 729. Oh, uh, so I to, uh, this that lady doesn't like being filmed. How are you? Sorry. Someone's being crazy and I gotta film them. She's being nice, I'm staying out of her way. Doesn't say I can't be back here right now. Okay. Hello. She's not happy back there, guys. She ain't happy. She's hiding. Do you see her back there? She's hiding in that corner. You know, I could go in there. It's not demarcated, but I'm not going to. You can stand right there and film it. Okay. Okay. I didn't go back there. I was asking. I got to ask. It's, it's not demarcated, guys. If I want to go back there, I could. I probably won't, but I could if I wanted to. Go in here. 
Okay. Okay, you put it on to a flash drive. What about radio flash drive? You put all of them on the flash drive? He said I can go. No, he said I can go in there. Yeah, I can go in. I think this guy might get handsy. It's not, it's not demarcated. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to see any sign that says I can't go in there. Because they have to have a sign up. So let's look, guys. You've got to look really well before you go in there. Sorry, I'm not trying to get you. You've been nice. Um, uh, it doesn't say I can't go in there. So, uh, right, there's her face. Hey, Mr. Rodriguez. There's no, I don't think you're getting anything in there. But, but I'm not. And there's no, you have to have a sign saying I can't record in there. You have to, oh, you have no, to demarcate no. it. Yeah, no, it's just there's no admittance except employees through the door. Okay. Yeah. You still have to have a sign for that, but I won't go in there. City of Muskogee, how can I direct your call? This guy ain't happy. Hello? Oh, yeah. Like, if she wouldn't be screaming, I would never have filmed her. Like, if people just act like sane human beings, none of this happens. Well, maybe if people wouldn't try to provoke other people. Ma'am, all I did was record you. I asked you not to. Oh, excuse me, are you? Yeah. And you still have it in my face. You're ordering people in here? Come on. What? They don't, they don't have anything you need. Ma'am, please, I'm not trying to bother you. You are, oh, and you're, you're doing it on purpose. He's got Teresa Corner back here. Well, I'm just going to call the police now. Yeah, please do. You go for that. Go for that. All right. You said he's calling the police for us filming in a public building. This is going to go so no, well for them. Harassing everyone in here. Harassment for right, filming. Can't, can't be harassment. Can you, you de-escalate and calm down just a little bit? Shh. Calm down, de-escalate. What's your name? Sir? Larry. Larry? Larry, are you having a bad day today? No, I'm having a great day. Okay, why are you so upset, Larry? Can you ask me why you're upset? Is a funny thing? I, I was just trying to be respectful of you. I don't think people understand if they leave us alone, we leave them alone. See what's going on? I mean, if you were respectful, you wouldn't put the camera in people's face. It's not, it's literally, look, that's in his face apparently, guys. He's back there, he's right there. That's in his face. Come on. Clearly. Hey, hey, Larry. It looks like they finally let James back here. It's insane he has a gun. Does he have a gun? This is a 4K FX3. I don't, I don't know if he has a gun. Let's see. Oh, he does. He does have a gun. That's crazy. And now, now the lady who was being nice is calling the police, so now we don't be nice back. That's how we do things. We're in the city of Muskogee, by the way, guys. So if you want to call the city clerk at the city of Muskogee, the city clerk is right there. We got the front desk right there. They're filming, Larry. Tell them what we're doing, Larry. They're filming in a government building. We've got two women in here. you got corner in the back. You don't want to come out here because of you guys. That's what I got now. I got now. And then she's, 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 she's sweet. She's, she's at the camera, right? She she was she's sweet. Was, she just called the cops, so she's not sweet anymore. Oh really? No, yeah. Uh, she did too. The girl in the email. Why did you call the cops? Because he's not. Because he, he wants that's, to be one. Unfortunately, one of the things when you take out a job working in public, because I'm going to go into a job. What? Why did I call the cops? Why? Well, she's my friend, so I thought about it. What? What? Well, it's good. It's good. What do you do? Just a receptionist. Hey guys. Hello. Are you just the receptionist, man? Oh, yeah. Can I go in there? Yeah. You're just the receptionist? Yeah, I can't go through here. You're going to explain to them that we can do this? And I'll... Thank you so much. Thank we you. Appreciate it. We're... Thank you for being sweet, man. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, we're trying to make anybody feel uncomfortable. I assure you. Sorry she did. Because... I mean, once they yell, don't film me, I'm going to film them. You know? Oh, yeah. I mean, once somebody starts yelling, don't film me, I'm going to film them. Like, you didn't say anything. I didn't film you. Now it's because it's enjoyable. Come on now. Like if they ask, honestly, if somebody asked me politely not to film them, probably wouldn't. Hey, his body cam is going, so we're doing good. Good. Man, a cop who knows how to turn his body cam on. That's great. <laughs> This guy was nuts before you No locked doors? Yeah, well, oh, the door's actually locked. He's extremely unhappy. 
How many cameras in the lobby? Why are you so upset, Larry? Like it was on. Honestly, I don't see any cameras in the lobby. Oh yeah, there's one. I'm okay, thank you. And just so you guys know, he committed a misdemeanor by refusing to let me get public records. So he's filed a misdemeanor, now we got a lawsuit. The lady kept saying something else, and I kept saying, I can't hear you. Yeah, they're already on camera all day. Yeah, there's literally a camera right there, guys. <laughs> you hurt the guard's feelings? I know. I know. See, look, people need to be like that guy. He just stands over there, perfectly nice, not doing anything. Yeah, because he recorded you, you were, body cam. You were recording him, though, weren't you? Yeah, without his permission? Did so, you know? Yeah, exactly. Did you so, know he was recording you without his permission? Who's got my permission? He had your permission? He asked you my permission now. Well, he didn't, we don't need it. It's a public place. They explained that to you, though, now? Larry, I, you just seem to be having a bad day. Uh, I just came out to talk to you about why you're having a bad day. Uh, Larry, the city clerk. Well, who's my name, Bench? You guys have a question. Appreciate it. Yeah. I mean, wait, wait. Do we want to do a citizen's arrest on him, though? No? Because he did refuse open records. No, okay. Yeah, that's true. Freedom of speech, brother. Oh, my God. Did you just snitch on me, though? Heck, yeah. Did you just see them walk away, Larry? Did you just see them walk away or said they don't care? Did you know why? What he just called you is constitutionally protected, sir. Larry, I would never chill with you. You are not a chill dude. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Whatever. Don't chill with me. You're not a chill dude, man. Larry is not a chill dude. You are you sniffing? Because I've got allergies. It's not cocaine. You seem pretty amped up. If I have to take a while, yes, you guys are. When's the last time they drug tested you? Because they thought it was a friendly crime. Oh my gosh. No, really, Larry. Because they thought it was a no, really, we don't report people like this unless people are rude. We just came for records. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you, they're rude, it's kind of like, all right. You were the cool. jackass. We came for records. We'll, we'll treat you how we chose treat to you. treat us like shit. We've been to a lot of places today and took a lot of hands. Did you get cursed in this city? Yeah, I can. Fuck. 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 Screw you, ass. Oh, wait, sorry, we're on live. Kiss my motherfucking ass, prick. Live? Don't, don't listen. Jack. <laughs> sucker. Cop. Sucking motherfucking ass. I know, I'm just proving to you that the First Amendment constitutionally protected activity. Just don't say the word stupid. Just don't say the word stupid, yeah, that, that one's bad. You see my point though, all that's protected. There's actually Supreme Court cases on all of those, including the word cunt, which I really hate that word, but there's actually federal case law on the fact that is a protected First Amendment word and you can't trust me. Yeah, this slide's getting demonetized. Hey Larry. People are calling on the phone. Hey, Larry, next time I come in for records, just keep your mouth shut. And you can oh, apparently people have been calling them on the phone. Remember, don't harass them. If you call them, do not harass them, viewers. Are they calling you? Are our viewers calling you? We didn't even... We didn't. I didn't ask anybody to call you. I didn't ask anybody to call you either. There's a thousand people watching live. Okay. Larry, there'll be a lot more that see you. Next time I ask you, I don't know about the celebrity. You will be. Next time I ask you, it won't, it won't be in a good way, Larry. Oh, that's all right. Okay, cool. Yeah, you're going to get at least... What do we think, 300,000 views? Oh my gosh, that's awesome. It is. You, cool. guys, yeah. you guys are doing great. Are. Thank you, thank you. How's your ear here? you turn that up for us, Claire? You turn it up for can, can you ears? flip me off for the thumbnail? Would you do that? Like, please? Could you flip please? Off? Like, why not? Awesome. Just, just, just you, give me a flip me, flip me off for the thumbnail. Flip off? Yeah. Cool, cool thumbnail. Or are you going to stick your tongue out? Like, like, stick your tongue out and flip us off. I'm going to go to Richland back in a minute. Okay, we got your way. I don't want to interfere with you. Uh, can you file a direct request? I'm going to go to the city clerk. Sir, we can catch your name. Thanks, Seth. Seth, what's your role around here? Uh,
Just an intern. An intern? Oh, right. yeah, oh, awesome. You're pretty chill. In college? Yes, sir. Awesome. Where do you go? To you. Oh, very good. Very good. What are you studying? Um, really? So you're in law school? Oh, okay. Who's your favorite professor? You got your favorite professor over there? Oh, professor. Lampkin? Lampkin? Okay. Is that the torch? Yeah, he teaches. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that for funny reasons. Um, who else you like? Yeah, you like so you like torts? Is that kind of what you're gonna go into? Torts litigation? You know what you want to do for a little? No, once you get out. You know what you want to do. First year, second year, third year. Third year. You're almost done, and you don't know what you want to do. Do it. Do it. Civil rights terrorists. Yes. Civil rights. Yes. Can I give you your first bit of advice on this? Don't pick a fight with the bar association unless you mean it. Yes. Don't expose judges for drinking and driving and those kind of things that I do unless you really mean it because as an attorney, I need you to understand that you are going to give up your First Amendment rights on every other issue that the Bar Association doesn't agree with. And if you don't believe me, just look up the last name Durbin and you'll read all about me. All right, so just have a good time. The Bar Association is a bunch of liberal hacks and I'm going to destroy the whole thing. So one day you won't have a mandatory Bar Association. Take them to the federal court. Yeah. Well, I got suspended for Facebook Lives, so yeah, it should yeah. be the opinion. Uh, suspended for his yeah, bar yeah. license, just, yeah. I'm suspended right now, no trial, um, all because I even exposed, I got a judge drinking and driving, an eight-year-old kid around, put it out there, they didn't like that, they said I'm, not, I'm doing things that a lawyer should do, bringing disparity and disrepute to the profession by exposing what I think that lawyers should do that. So I don't agree with that. So that. Uh, did you get your records, James? Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Do you want me to wait up? Yeah. So, I wanted to know where I can do a complaint on this. Is it security guard subbed out? Is he a separate? Okay. Do you know how I would go about doing a complaint on him? Should I do it through HR here? Manager? Is he upstairs? Is that so? Okay. Normally, when I come in this building, it looks like I can't actually go in there and go upstairs. Is that right? Well, yeah, normally you go upstairs by appointment. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, yeah. the city manager would be the one to do a complaint with, maybe. That's who I would do it with. And then also, uh, what company does he work for? Do you know? I think it's like. P R O S E G U R. Prosiger? P R O. Cool. Thank you. All right. Yeah, it's just a shame. You guys, everyone in this whole building has been so wonderful except him. And he's except just, him and then one other team. one other lady in the back was a jerk to me. But, cool. You know. I appreciate it. All righty. But I wouldn't go up to this. Get your phone out, rock some Taylor Swift, and they won't be able to show you on the live broadcast anymore. Seriously, rock some 1989. It's a good, it's a good album. 1989, T. Swift, you know, her and Kelsey, it's a good relationship. I'm super excited about it. Are you going to keep it up on that? Are you more of a fan of uh, the low deck? What's your favorite TV show there, Larry? Larry the Cable Guy, you a fan of Larry the Cable Guy? Sorry about a little bit of shaking on the camera, the gimbal died. That would be bad for me to have. There is, I have it all now. Oh. I have it all now. Yeah, it's kind of too late there, brother. That was brother. The, the camera records, Larry. It, was, it had already got it all. I'm sorry to tell you that, but uh, I hope your phone doesn't look on there because the viewers will see all that. So call you, Larry. All right. Are we, are we, are we having enough fun now? Yeah, I think so. All right. Good luck to you, sir. Larry, I hope you have a better day. All right. Have a good day, gentlemen. You too. Bye, Larry. Thank you for being decent, unlike Larry. the lady, the lady in the back. Give me my records, Larry. Keep your yeah. mouth shut. Give me my records next time. <coughs> All right. We lost our, we lost our uh, other person. She left. She, when things started getting, as soon as she there was any type of arguing whatsoever, she was like, I'm going to oh, go. Okay. I'm going to get out of here. I get that. People don't understand how it works. All right, let me sign off. Let me sign off. Let me turn off this. All right, let me see this. All right, we're going to sign off. We're going to go to Oak Mulgee. We might come live again later, folks. We might come live again. In fact, we probably will. We're going to head on over to Oak Mulgee. Uh, look up Oak Mulgee. Uh, hey, there's a cop. I got the name of the securities company for everybody to make complaints. Here you go.
go. Oh, were they calling? Were they calling? Oh, they probably were. You're live, man. That's what audiences do. Is that who was? Is that why the phone was blowing up in the Might've receptionist? Been. Been. That's the security the, company. Had, were you guys calling the front desk? Were y'all calling the front desk? Was that y'all that were calling? She did not seem happy about the phone calls. It, the audience uh, is always off the wall, man. Gorilla, are you doing memberships yet? Not yet. We're going to get them started. We really could use the membership support. Uh, we, um, I think we have memberships on our channel. Yeah, we got to get all going. Look, once James gets his butt moved, uh, we'll be in a lot better shape to get things finalized. Ooh, cop! Same guy. Is it? Oh, hey, you're in this side too. No, I already went in here. They're the ones who told me to go to the clerk's office. Oh, look at that beautiful dog. That is a cute dog. I know. Oh. You mind if I show people your dog? Okay. It's a pretty dog. Look at that. He'll be up here in a minute, bro. Look at that. Look at that. Can I say hello? Yeah. Hi. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I, oh, I know that. Oh, yeah. I see you. You're okay. You're okay. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. He is a good boy. Protecting his owner. Dang right. Have a good one. Can I pet that dog? Can I pet that dog? That's not a dog. That's a bear. Hey, officer. What, what do you call a cop in a blanket? A pig in a blanket. Come on now. That was the worst joke I've ever That was so day. bad. I know. It wasn't supposed to be good. I told y'all I'm not good at jokes. I am not good at jokes. Do not expect the comedy to come from me. No, what do you call a cop in bed? What do you call a cop in bed? A pig in a blanket. A pig in a blanket. Okay. Uh, hey, here's the one I know that I know. How, how, do, uh, how many cops does it, change, does it take to change uh, a light bulb? But it's so old. None. They just beat the room for being black. I know, I don't know jokes. Okay, here's here's a good one. What do you call a cop in a box? <laughs> a a dead? A, a good, good cop. cop. <laughs> a good cop. Um, That's just as dumb. Do y'all want to hear the grossest story on the internet? <laughs> oh my thing? god. No, you gonna go knows. there? Should I tell the grossest the story on the internet? Oh, hey, listen, listen. listen. The I, should I, not. Okay, I'm not gonna tell the Jolly Rancher story, but I need y'all to Google the Jolly Rancher story oh, on Reddit. That way though, aren't oh, we? Where's your car? Is it right there? It's over here. Oh, yeah, we walked a long way. All right, so look up the Jolly Rancher story on Reddit. You need to check it out. Uh, I didn't say it's funny, uh, so go. I can't tell it. Um, I will get demonetized uh, for telling that. So, all right, y'all, we're going to sign off until we get on over to Oak Mulgee. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, we'll see you all after a while. That's uh, about what we got for now. Peace out. Stay safe. We should have tried to bring that tatted up dude with us. Oh, man, he could have done it. Yeah, he would have. Uh, he's thrown first. down. He, he's thrown down before. You know that. Yeah. I'm worried he was fighting that dog. Huh?